Yeah, this full gear show, for those of you unaware, was just one four star match after another. I, I had I had um all but one. All but one. All but one. Which actually I thought going in, I said like they could get eight and they got eight. I in my mind they had, they got eight easy. I know I know there are friends of mine who said clean sweep, but I would say eight. So Well, I mean the quick story is that Hangman Page is the new AEW champion. He beat Kenny Omega. So that match was freaking off the charts. That was one of the better matches that you'll ever see. That's a super for sure match of the year candidate. Yeah. And uh, so he's the champion. He beat Kenny Omega with the uh, buckshot lariat. And they paid off the story from years and years ago when the first time that Hangman was challenging for the title, the Bucks refused to go to the ring with him and be in his corner. And uh, well, they were busy, but yeah, yeah, basically. but they weren't there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, there were all of the twists and turns, and he ended up costing the Bucks the uh, the tag team titles, yeah. And him and Kenny Omega ended up tag team champions, they broke up at full gear a year ago, mm-hmm. one year build to the rematch, which was supposed to take place. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 they didn't, um, the, the, wasn't the full gear a year ago, the, the Omega page uh, championship, I mean, that, um, tournament final, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but regardless, that, that, that Omega one. They they ended up breaking up, and yes. then they had the heel turn, and it built to uh, presumably uh, all out. But then Hangman's wife got pregnant, right? And Hangman himself in the the media scrum tonight noted that there had been a lot of twists and turns and changes of plans but because they, of but the they pandemic. Ended up going exactly where they're supposed to go. But they ended up exactly where they wanted to go. And uh, Tony Khan had said that every champion. That they had had so far had been an original plan from day one. Sort of day one. Yeah. May. May. And they paid Not off. January. They paid off the storyline here with Hangman winning the title. The Bucks came out. And the big story at the end was both Nick and Matt had the opportunity to prevent the Buckshot Lariat. And both of them didn't do it. Didn't do it. And so Matt nodded at him. Hangman hit the second of two buckshot lariats, got the pin, won the title. Happy ending. The fans went nuts. Uh, great ending to a fantastic show. Absolutely. You know, I mean, the thing is, too, is that, like, this story is only half told. I That's mean, right. We, there's, got, there's much more to come. Much, we've, got, we've got another, I don't know how long, hour, I mean, a year and a half, two years, or however long this thing goes because before it goes full circle. And the end is full circle. So, yeah. It's incredible. It's actually uh, one of the greatest um, long-term stories. I mean, as far as like multi-year story and, um, you know, from day one, you could sort of see where it was going. Well, not quite day one, but you could sort of see where it was going in between. I mean, it was funny because originally, like, I remember when uh, when we were about, when, when they did the split and everything, and it was like, oh yeah, the the end of the story is, is Hangman winning the title. And then whatever it was like a year ago it was like oh my god when hangman wins the title that's still that's it's still not the end of the story so it's there's got a lot to go um but it was uh yeah i thought that match was freaking incredible hangman adam page and kenny omega for the AEW title 25 minutes and 35 seconds this match was awesome and uh, it played. This was beyond awesome. I mean, this was a match of the year candidate. Kenny Omega goes in there, and uh, you know, as we talked about before, he's got his shoulders are all messed up, and uh, but he was fantastic tonight. Allegedly, is not a lot of strength in his shoulders. I don't know if he doesn't have strength, but he doesn't. He can't. Li- he can't lift heavy weights with them, or I don't even know if he can lift with them. The last, the last time we were talking about it, he said he was able to lift the bar. So it's 45 pounds, which is not... When you hear that a man's shoulder is so bad that he can't lift the bar, you don't watch him go into the ring with Hangman Page and think, this guy's going to pull this thing off. God damn, did he pull this thing off. Oh, no, no, no. He's told me, he goes like, um, I can work a match without my shoulders. Well, he worked a fucking great match without his shoulders here. And and Hangman Page did an awesome job. And uh, This is one of those matches where, you know, like, every time I see, like, uh, Danielson... And every time I see Takagi, and every time I see Osprey, I always go like, "This guy's the best in the world." And like, this guy's the best in the world. But tonight, Kenny Omega was the best in the world. Dude, he was awesome, and uh, Hangman was great. It started; it was very much like a Japanese match. It started slow, built its way to these awesome near falls at the end. I thought this might be the match 
where somebody kicks out of the one-winged angel. And it happened, but it was not Kenny's one-winged angel. Hangman Page hit Kenny Omega with his own one-winged angel. You know what's angel. funny is like... like Kenny kicked out. John Muse and I were like discussing this very thing. And he goes, what would you do? And I said, if by some reason Kenny is winning, then Page should kick out of the one-winged angel. But Kenny should not win this match. I mean, this you know, when they did this match, I mean, like, as much as there's other things that they could have done, the fact is, is when this match happened, Paige had to win the match. And I thought that uh, he won it in spectacular fact. They did twists and turns. Like, when they did that buckshot into the knee spot, oh, my God, I thought, like, that was the finish. <laughs> he goes for the buckshot, and Kenny hits him with the, the V-trigger in midair. That was awesome. And uh, as noted, there was a giant moonsault by Page off the post to the floor. There was the uh, buckshot, which ended up wiping out the referee. And then Hangman hit the, uh, the uh, what's it called? His uh, sit-down dead pile eye? The dead eye. Dead eye. And uh, hits the dead eye, and, and Aubrey just races down to the ring, one, two, and there's a kick out, and the place went crazy for that near fall. Yeah. And uh, referee was dead, but uh, Aubrey ended up doing the rest of the match. And then finally, as noted, the Bucks came out, and they had the opportunity to interfere. Hangman had done a promo on uh, Friday on Ramp- Rampage, yeah. where he basically said, "You know, uh, if you I'm guys sorry, interfere- for, I'm sorry for what I did. I was wrong. I cost you your match, but you cost me my match. So we're even. Right. But that means if you lay one hand on me." You'll regret it for the rest of your life, or whatever the line was. And so they came out, and and they had the opportunity to lay their hands on him, and Nick had the first opportunity, and he didn't. And uh, Hangman hit the uh, the uh, lariat. Then he goes out to the other side. He's got the opportunity. And this time, Matt has the opportunity. Matt just nods at him, hits the lariat, gets the pin. Uh, they give him the title. The Dark Order comes out. They had the big celebration with all of the baby faces. Awesome finish. To an awesome pay per view. Yeah, there's a uh, Omega did Terminator j- dive. Don Callis put the boots to uh, um, Page early on, and Jr. said that he should be fine suspended just for those shoes. Yes, <laughs> that was a freaking great line. Oh my god. Um, what else? Just uh, yeah, that it was. Just one great idea after another, like, um, like uh, what was the spot with the Dead Eye into a J Driller spot? Remember that one? Yeah, this that was J Driller was brutal. Dropped him right on his head. There was a bunch. Dude, of, there were two. There su- were a bunch of back suplexes on. That the, they, yep, the very Kenny, end of the Kenny match. Took a real bad back suplex. Both of them did. It was yeah. a spot one right after the other where where uh, Omega gave him. Uh, he just dropped him right on his head with his suplex. Uh, Cowboy jumps up. He hits Omega with a suplex, drops him right on his head. Thankfully, they only did two. Still too, too many, but they only did two, and then they went to the finish from there. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.